Hey everyone, welcome to Board Wrap Briefing. I'm James Otter of Otter Surfboards, and today I'm going to talk to you about this stand up paddleboard that's in front of me. This is our 11.6 from our flat water exploration range. It's called our adventure model, and it's 31 inches wide and 7 and a quarter inches thick at its thickest point. Um, it's quite a unique shape in that it's got this, this kind of point that it comes to at the end, and it's got a lot of volume up at the front end as well. What that does at the front is if we're on choppy water, unstable water, or even in amongst a few waves, it allow you to punch through the water and lift up out on top of the water. So you're always gliding and carrying your momentum forwards. Then when you come back to the mid deck, we've got a recess here, and that lowers your feet, lowers your center of gravity. So you've got a good bit of stability on the board as well. You'll see the rail line runs really smoothly from that nose round the wide point and off the tail of this diamond tail that we've got. And that brings a really smooth flow of water with little water disturbance as you move across it. So this board is all about glide, momentum and spending time on the water. We fit it with the bungees up the front and the back so that you can pack a load of gear so you can spend as long as you want on the water. You can even pack some camp gear and, and get out overnight. To talk about a little bit more of the performance of the board, I'm going to roll it over and show you the bottom. So on the underside of this paddle board, you'll see the front end is quite rounded and bulbous, and that again is to help if you puncture the water, it's going to lift you back up again. And then through this centre panel, the, the cedar that we've got in here, it's got a nice deep concave that runs right through the middle, underneath your feet, and out through this big single fin. And all of that concave is about drawing water in a straight line through the board. So once you get up and riding, you've got some momentum. It's just going to carry on on, those, on that straight line nice and easily. Then when you look at the, the rails, you can see we've got these angled chines. And that means that if you tip up to one side at all, the whole board's going to want to come back onto level. And it's also just helping part the water a little bit as we glide along it. Um, so this board is going to spend the rest of its days out at Pool Harbour in Dorset. So it's going to be gliding around, the, around on the water there. And if you see yourself riding one of these, get in touch and commission one. Thank you for joining us. We'll see you next time.